Welcome back to Cooking for Millennials, the show where we teach you how to cook delicious and nutritious meals, as always. Well, today we've got a very special episode, as we always do. We've got two packages of cock soup mix. Spicy cock soup mix. Now, if we Google uh, what the meaning of cock is, it is a male bird, especially a rooster. Cinnamons is a rooster, cockerel, a male fallow, a capon, uh, and we're not even going to try that last one. Well, we'll give it a shot. Literally, cantilier, cantilier, a cock and two hens. So anyways, really, it means chicken soup. So we're going to give this a go. One cock soup is enough for anyone, so we'll go for that. Maybe we'll save the other one for later. Um, importantly, we should note that this is quality since 1922, and we have the quality seal here of Grace Kennedy Limited. Now, this was a grocery store purchase, a gift, or a um, sponsorship, I guess, for the episode. 49 cents, if you can believe it. So, as per regular fashion, we're going to cook this. So anyways, we're going to turn on our stove. And there's a little bit of uh, bonus information here. You can use Grace Cock Soup to add body and flavor to your chicken, shrimp, or beef soup, or to your steamed fish, chicken, or rice dishes. Grace Cock Soup can also be enjoyed as a delicious broth without the need to add other ingredients. Well, in this case, we're just going to try it as the soup. Maybe one day... We'll try it as something else. Anyways, so directions are good and easy, perfect for any millennial or anyone who wants to cook this. And it even serves three, so this is like a family meal for 49 cents. You can't beat that. So mix contents of pouch into 570 milliliters or two and a half cups of cold water. Well, we happen to have <laughs> two cups of water here. And look at that, another half cup already prepared. So we're gonna turn that up there. Uh, so we gotta add our contents. Look at that, listen to that sound. I think they kinda had a bad translation when they were trying to say chicken soup, but it seems to be plasticky inside. Maybe we better get the scissors. All right, let's go at it from this angle. There we go. So we got our soup mix. Wasn't sure if this was gonna be like the Mr. Noodles or whatnot, but maybe it's like half Mr. Noodles, half craft dinner by the looks of it there. Anyways, in it goes. Oh, doesn't that look good? Looks to be most of everything out of there. So we're gonna stir this, then we're gonna bring to a boil and cover and simmer for seven to 10 minutes. I guess that's to taste, uh, stirring occasionally. Then I guess we're ready to serve. So let's give this a little stir. Oh yeah. That's looking like chicken soup. We'll have to see how spicy it is. I guess that's where these little peppers come from. Right there, that little chunk. It's like waiting for a kettle to boil almost. The excitement is also <laughs> unbearable. Anyways, looks like we're almost starting to boil down there. If you look closely, oh my god, there it goes. 
you can see there's like little green flecks in there. I guess that makes it healthy. All right, I guess we better simmer that before it explodes over the edge of the... Look at that! Oh my god. I guess we better stir that, eh? <laughs> Expands in volume. All right, so that looks like a healthy boil there. I'm going to put that simmer. And uh, we're going to cover that. I think, you know what, let's have it a little bit rare today. Or whatever, we'll go happy medium. We're going to do eight minutes for our seven to ten minute thing. So in eight minutes, we'll check back. It's actually starting to take shape. Like noodles almost in there. A few more minutes. All right, you know what that sound means? Our cock soup is ready. Our spicy cock soup. Now, we'll uh, do this here. There's our nice, delicious soup. Oh, heavenly. Now, you can supposedly feed three people on this. <laughs> Maybe if, you, if you're starving, I guess, or, or at least you would be after eating all this. At least a third of this. So, let's see if we can actually get some chunks and noodles in here. There's really not a lot to it, surprisingly. Well, you know, I think this is really just a serving for one, but they disguise it as a serving for three, so... Well, there's some noodles. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so let's turn into a serving for one. Or, this is right here is your three meals for the day. <laughs> right there, 49 cents. Oh, but you can't even see anything in there. Let's see. All the new, oh yeah, there you go. Mmm, mmm. <laughs> so we have our spicy cock soup. Dinner for three. Or lunch. I think we're going to call that done. You're not done yet. But I'm done. I'm done. The meal is cooked. The noodles are there. It's a meal for three. We followed all two steps on the instructions. What more is there? So if you want to make this meal right, you've got to millennialize it. But how can I do that? It's already a nutritional, fully nutritional meal. I said millennialize it. Uh, but the only thing I have on hand is... This package of Schneider's All Beef Hot Dogs, original recipe. <laughs> I said do it. But I can't even, they're just cold. I can't put them in like this. Well, then barbecue them. Yeah, uh, I, I guess. All right, fine, if we'll make you happy. <laughs> All right, so I guess we're going to barbecue these hot dogs. <laughs> just a few of them, I guess. All right, so here we are with the barbecue and uh, our hot dogs. We're just going to put a couple on here. Like so. We've got a few tongs. And uh, we'll see how they do. <laughs> All right, so I think those are looking pretty good. Just starting to blister and bubble and sweat all over. Split apart. So we're gonna plate those as so. Mm mm. Oh, back in the kitchen there, we've got our dirty dogs, as you can see. <laughs> the mess they leave on that plate. And now I'm gonna show you two different methods. I'm cutting these things. First, we cut it in half. Now this is where it gets crazy. We're going to try to octopus this thing. 
That's one hot wiener, though. We're just going to roll it around for a bit, apparently. There we go. We've got a better hold on it. There. That's better. Got the rubber wieners or something there. They won't cut. There. Oh, that's a better way of doing it. <laughs> and with the other one, the same thing. Maybe I'll let you look at the camera, see how we're doing for the previewing. So we got tonged, got stick, stick it, and cut it. Stick it, and cut it. <laughs> so we got our little octo weenies. <laughs> Back to their native home, their natural home. And then this one. We're simply just going to do the old-fashioned, I swear this is a sharp knife. We're just going to simply just go to cut. These hot dogs are rubbery and delicate. Oh yeah, there we go, look at this. We've got, we've got the motion down. All right, so now we're gonna take our little bits of wiener, just throw it right in there, like little checkers. Look at this. And now I think we're finally done here. <laughs> so we've got our Millennialized spicy cock soup. Look at that. Doesn't that look great? <laughs> With hot dog bits <laughs> and uh, <laughs> hot dog uh, octopuses, even though they've only got four arms. You know, we might actually have to even try this here on camera just to give our honest opinion on this. It could be the next best thing. So with our spoon and our very brave uh, uh, tester, which is me, um, I guess I better grab a try to grab a little bit of everything. I got some uh, chunk, the green thing, and I just need a wiener. All right, <laughs> kind of smells kind of smell like Mr. Noodles when I came back in with those hot dogs. Uh, so that's my baseline. Anyways, we'll give this a shot. It's not as horrible as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> the hot dogs actually might save it. Let's see, but the just the soup itself. It surprisingly actually has a decent amount of flavor to it. Um, it's actually probably tastier than cooking for millennials. Or, I mean, well, yes, but uh, it's probably actually tastier than Mr. Noodles. Um, but I think it's just the insane salt content in this thing uh, is where you're getting your 49 cents worth. Anyways, try this one today. <laughs> Cook it for the full family. It'll serve three. So if you've got a family of six, two packs will do. Or even if you just want a meal for the entire day, one pack will do you. <laughs> and I think we're gonna finally going to call this one done. Our... Spicy cock soup. Mmm. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and check out my other videos. <laughs>